Hello, fellow Cedar Village staff. This is your director of pastoral care, Rabbi Drew, with another weekly mini in-service video about Jewish stuff, just to provide a little bit more awareness. And a question that I get asked with some regularity is, what's that on your head? Well, that's a great question. This is, it's actually got multiple names for it. In Hebrew, it's called a kippah, which literally just translates to covering. It also in Yiddish, and there are some Yiddish speakers in the building, that call it a, a yarmulke or a yarmulke, which actually comes kind of from the Hebrew yar hamelech, which is fear of the king. And that's really what ultimately it's about, is inspiring fear of the Lord, fear of heaven, awe of heaven. Uh, this is one I wear on a, on a normal basis, but this one actually was knitted by one of our residents uh, for me this summer. And uh, people wear it either, I guess, more centrally located on one's head. I uh, Oftentimes I'll see people wear it back here. I've, <laughs> I've even seen people, it's a little bit more common in Israel, where they'll just sort of like wear it off to the side or like somehow back here is hanging off. But um, usually actually in America, most of the time that people, most of the time that Jews wear them will be, uh, for most American Jews, it's really more with synagogues, with temple, going to prayer services. It's not really something worn on a daily basis, except for those who either are more necessarily observant or just, it's part of people's identity. They want to signal that this is part of their identity. Uh, and again, this is also something more in observant in Orthodox circles, in conservative circles, worn as well as rabbis and cantors. One thing I will point out is that, especially in more traditional circles, it, there's a there's a certain genderedness to it, in that more it's more frequently men wear it than necessarily women. So there's a certain gendered aspect to it. Now that having been said, you might see my predecessor, Cantor Katsu, around the building, and she certainly wears a kippa around, and um, and that's something that in reform context, of which she is well, on the more liberal end of things, they, it, it attains less uh, less of a gendered aspect as both gender, uh, anywhere, anyone on the gender spectrum uh, will wear it. So I hope this was helpful as far as what this is. It's a kippa, a yarmulke, weird English translation of a skull cap. And um, yeah, it's really meant to inspire fear and meant to uh, have a connection to God and uh, also have some sort of identity aspect to it. So. I hope this was helpful, and if you have suggestions or ideas for future such little mini in-service videos, please let me know, and thank you so much for watching.